Hello there, my name is Evanchex, but you can call me Ivan. In this video, I will show you how to use the new Hot and Smart Skin innovation in the BB Gun. First, you must watch my course's tutorial about BB Gun. Then, take the BB Gun so that you can set up the gun as usual. Now, you can go into the options controls and assign a firing button. The gun will fire perfectly when you will press that button. Now, we will take a look at the new menu panels and the new options they have. Go to the first new panel. Let's start with the zoom factor. The zoom factor allows you to zoom in by decreasing the field of view while you hold down the zoom key. You can change the key bind in options controls. Now we have a zoom. It is cool, you can change the zoom, you can turn on the function to hide the weapon when zooming in, or to hide the crosshair. There is a morph of the crosshair, you need to select the morph and turn it on. Now you can see the morph when you aim. You can set your crosshair morph if you select it, by default. It will appear in the center of the screen. The next part is the hands morph. Select your hands morph and that is it. This arms is only visible in the first person. When the player is holding the bow, his hands are in the aiming pose. There are two toggles here. If you turn this one on, the player will hold the gun at arms outspread at all times. And if you turn this one on, then arms will be held only when shooting or interacting. If you rotate and adjust the BB gun, you may notice that it may not look nice in the inventory. That's why I have added a more for the inventory. Just select it right here and click on this checkbox. Now you can control the look of the gun in the inventory. Wow, we can shoot, but it looks so boring. Here you can see the recoil settings. Here we are interested in the mean value for X shift and Y shift. Let's set it to small value and now the gun goes up. But always in the same direction. If you turn off static recoil, you can enter a second value. This will enable randomized recoil every time you fire a project lead. Let's take a quick look at the single shot button. If you turn it on, the gun will not fire when the button is held down. But there is a limitation. This method is not situatable if the firing key bind has conflicts. Let me show you our interesting feature. This is the shift of the firing source. By default, the firing comes from the head. Now you can shift the source. For example, move it to the level of the gun barrel. Now it looks more realistic. Enter the coordinate shifts. You can experiment with those values to see how the shifts work better for you. Now we have an interesting control section. Here you can set the delay between shots, so that we don't have a lot of shots. Let's set a delay, now there is a delay between shots. Now in the last version of the BB gun, when shots consumes item things for the inventory, now there is another feature that consumes armor. You can set the number of rounds in the magazine here. You can now fire 5 shots before items are taken from the inventory. Another cool new option is reloading. To be clear, let's choose the morph for reloading right away here. In order for the reload to be active, you need to turn it on like this. Increase reload time now when you run out of armor in the magazine. They will not be automatically replenished. Go to the new settings and assign a cabin for reloading. Now when you press it, the reload will commence and you will see the morph. Now there are a couple more tiny settings. To top this up, go to the panel on the left. Here you can set commands for different actions. Reload, zoom on, zoom out, meeting and destroy the gun. Yes, this parameter shows the amount of durability of the gun. If it is zero, then the durability is infinite. It short spans the durability. At the end of the durability, the gun is removed. The close range damage parameter is responsible for the damage when hitting mobs with a gun held, not from shooting them. Intensity at zoom is a parameter that can slow down the mouse movements or limit that, if large or too small, at zoom. The last section is prevention tools. 
if you do not prevent interaction, you could open chest or perform other interaction with a gun in your hand. If you prevent left click, you will not to be able to break blocks with that weapon health. If prevent entity enters is on, you cannot hit mobs with that weapon, which is often useful. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this update. If you want to contact me, you can find me on my course server. Special thanks to Sentry Fuga for this beautiful and sexy New Year's Eve mascot for this update. Good luck everyone and goodbye!